Meta just dropped the most advanced smart glasses yet, the new $799 Ray-Ban display. And they're not just for recording POV videos anymore. These bring a super bright built-in display, a neural wristband that lets you control everything with hand gestures, live captions and real-time translation, maps that move as your head moves, and even video calls right from your glasses. It feels like the closest thing we've seen to a post-smartphone future. So let's break down exactly what makes these glasses so impressive. At first glance, these look like a slightly thicker pair of Ray-Bans, but inside, they're hiding some serious upgrades. They weigh just 69 grams, heavier than normal sunglasses, but still light enough to forget you're wearing them. Flexible hinges help with comfort, and you can choose between black or sand finishes. Both come with a matching neural wristband and a brilliant charging case. That case deserves a shout out. It folds flat in seconds so it fits in your pocket, but still holds four full charges for the glasses. Easily one of the smartest accessories Meta has ever made. Inside the arms, you've got custom batteries, dual speakers, five microphones, and a 12 megapixel camera capable of 3K video. It's sharper than before and perfect for POV shots, which is still the most popular use of Meta's smart glasses. But here's the big new thing, the display. For the first time, Meta has added a monocular screen in the right eye. It's slightly offset from the center of your vision, but it's super bright, up to 5,000 nits outdoors, brighter than any phone screen. And it's discreet. Unlike earlier prototypes, there's basically no light leak. Even at full brightness, people around you can't tell you're looking at a screen. This isn't full AR. It doesn't anchor graphics to your environment, but it works like a personal HUD. Notifications, maps, captions, or calls all glanceable at any moment. Now, how do you control it? Yes, the arms still have a touchpad and capture button, but the real star is the new neural wristband. It uses EMG sensors to read your wrist's electrical signals, letting you pinch, scroll, swipe, rotate, and even draw letters in the air, typing whole sentences in so what can you actually do with them? Messaging. WhatsApp messages appear right in your eye. Dictation is nearly perfect thanks to five microphones even if you whisper. And if you can't talk, you can literally write on your leg letter by letter. Camera viewfinder. For the first time, you can see what you're filming. No more guessing with POV clips. Video calls. You see the caller in the display while they see your point of view camera. It's like FaceTime from your glasses. Maps. Turn-by-turn -turn navigation floats in your vision, rotating with your head, a dream for anyone with bad direction sense. Live captions plus translation. This is insane. Look at someone and the glasses isolate their voice, showing instant captions. And if they're speaking another language, it live translates. It's not flawless, but it's fast and surprisingly accurate. Entertainment. Spotify is built in, with better than expected audio. Just don't turn volume too high. Others will hear it. But here's the limitation. Everything is tied to Meta's ecosystem. Messaging is WhatsApp. Maps are Meta Maps, not Google. Video calls? Also WhatsApp. There's no App Store yet, so options are limited. These ship later this year for $799, the price of a premium smartphone. And honestly, Meta might be losing money on each unit just to get them into people's hands. But remember, this is still Gen 1. The camera isn't phone quality. Battery life is decent, but not all day. And the privacy concerns around Meta collecting this much data will always be there. Still, the pace of progress is wild. Less than a year ago, this was a $10,000 prototype with a bulky computer puck. Now, it's a self-contained, stylish product you can actually buy. And once people start using them, expect your feeds to flood with POV videos, captions, maps, and translations, all from a pair of glasses. For the first time, smart glasses don't feel like a gimmick. They feel like the first real step toward life beyond the smartphone. So, what do you think? Are these the future or just a flashy experiment? Drop your thoughts below and I'll see you in the next one.